Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, i-enumerate natin at i-derive ang walong fundamental trigonometric identities. Without further ado, let's get this lesson started. I-review muna natin yung trigonometric functions of angles. Ito ay anim. First, we have sine theta. Itong value na to ay nakukuha by dividing y over r. Meron din tayong cosine theta. This is uh, arrived at by using x divided by r. Tangent theta is y over x. CSC is r over y. This is cosecant theta. For the next one, we have second theta, r over x naman to. And for cotangent theta, we have x over y. Gagamitin natin itong anim na trigonometric functions to enumerate the eight trigonometric identities. Ano nga ba yung tinatawag natin na identities? Identities are equations that are true for all values of the variable in the domain of the equation. Ibig sabihin, kahit anong value yung ating i-substitute for the x or kung ano man yung domain, palaging magtutru yung equation. Laging mag-equal yung left and right hand side. Kapag hindi siya identity, ang tawag sa kanya ay conditional equation. Bigay tayo ng example. Dito sa example 1, meron tayong x multiplied to x plus 1 equals x squared plus x. This is always an identity. Kahit anong value ng x ang ipalit natin, laging mag equal yung dalawang side. Pakita tayo ng dalawang example. If x is equal to 2, meron tayong 2 times 2 plus 1. This is equal to 2 squared plus 2. Let's find out. This is 2. Tapos 2 plus 1 is 3. 2 plus 3, we have 6 para sa left-hand side. Para naman sa right-hand side, meron tayong 2 squared which is 4. Plus 2, this is also 6. So tama na equal sila pareho. Kung gagamit naman tayo ng ibang value, kunwari meron tayong x equals negative 3. Meron tayong negative 3. Multiply to negative 3 plus 1. Equal daw ito sa negative 3 squared plus negative 3. We have here for the left-hand side, negative 3. Tapos yung negative 3 plus 1, ito ay negative 2. Pag tinimes tong negative 3 at negative 2, we have positive 6. Yun yung nasa left-hand side. Kung meron naman tayong negative 3 squared, Siyempre, ito ay magiging positive 9 plus negative 3. This will also be 6. So, nagkataon lang na parehong 6 yung naging sagot sa first and second value of x, pero hindi ganun lagi yung mangyayari. Siyempre, depende yon sa value ng x na ipapalit natin sa ating identity equation. Itong second example naman natin ay conditional. For example, meron tayong x equals... 7. Meron tayong 7. Multiply sa 7 plus 1. Let's see if that is 6. Meron tayong 7 times 8. This is 6. 6 nga ba yun? Tingnan natin. 7 times 8. This is 56. This is obviously not equal to 6. Ang ibig sabihin ng conditional equation, may mga values ng x na tatama at magpapamali don sa equation na yon. Pero kung ang gagamitin naman natin ay x equals 2, katulad nung ginawa natin sa first example, magkakaroon tayo ng 2 times 2 plus 1. Let's see if that is really equal to 6. Pero kahit hindi na natin ipakita yung full solution, makikita na natin dito sa part na to that they are really equal to 6. 6 is equal to 6. Pag identity, lahat ng value ng x pwede mag-equal sa kanilang dalawang side ng equation. Pero pag conditional, may certain conditions lang or certain limitations yung equation. Ang pag-uusapan natin sa video na to ay yung mga trigonometric identities. Mga identity na nag involve ng sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, second at cotangent. Ang walong trigonometric identities ay nahahate sa mga grupong ito. Meron tayong tatlong reciprocal identities. Pag sinabing reciprocal, ito yung ini-interchange, yung numerator at denominator. Meron din tayong quotient identities from the word itself, quotient, dinidivide. 
And we also have three Pythagorean identities which came from the Pythagorean theorem. Simulan natin sa reciprocal identities. Ang una nating reciprocal identities ay magmumula sa cosecant theta. Recall that cosecant theta is r over y. At dahil nga reciprocal, yung CSC theta, i-reciprocal natin. Gawin nating 1 over CSC theta, and then let's find out anong trigo function yung mag-i-equal sa kanya. Meron tayong 1 over r over y. And using our knowledge in complex fraction, this will be 1 times the reciprocal of the denominator. Magiging y over r. 1 times y over r is simply y over r. And recall that y over r, this is sine theta. In other words, the first reciprocal identity natin ay sine theta equal siya sa reciprocal of the cosecant theta or vice versa. Cosecant theta equal sa reciprocal ng sine theta. Second reciprocal identity natin will come from second theta. Tulad ng ginawa natin sa cosecant, kuhanin natin yung kanyang reciprocal. We have 1 over r over x. Multiply natin. Yung 1 sa reciprocal ng r over x, which is x over r. Pag minultiply sa 1, that will still be x over r. And we know that x over r is cosine theta. The second reciprocal identity is cosine theta equal to the reciprocal of second theta. Or vice versa. Second theta equal to 1 over cosine theta. Yung third reciprocal identity natin ay Cotangent naman yung involve. Tulad nung ginawa natin kanina, let's take its reciprocal. Again, using complex fraction, we have 1 times y over x. This will result to y over x or simply tangent theta. Ibig sabihin, kapag kinuha natin yung reciprocal ng cotangent, tangent theta yung lalabas. Or, kapag kinuha natin yung reciprocal ng tangent, cotangent theta yung lalabas. Yun yung tatlong reciprocal identities. Punta naman tayo sa tinatawag natin na quotient identities. Alam natin na ang sine theta ay y over r at ang cosine theta ay x over r. Subukan natin silang i-divide. Meron tayong sine theta over cosine theta and then let's find out what will happen. For sine theta, meron tayong y over r. For cosine theta, we have x over r. And we will also use yung knowledge natin sa complex fraction. We have y over r times the reciprocal of the denominator which is r over x. R and R can be divided. Ang maiiwan na lang sa atin ay y over x. And recall that this y over x is equal to tangent theta. Yan yung una nating quotient identity. Tangent theta ay equal sa sine theta over cosine theta. For the second quotient identity, meron tayong cotangent theta equals 1 over tangent theta. Recall that this is one of the reciprocal identities na naipakita natin kanina. And ito namang tangent theta, which is equal to sine theta over cosine theta, ito yung nasa previous slide. Dahil ang cotangent theta natin ay equal sa 1 over tangent theta, and furthermore, tangent theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta, what we can do is, we can again use the solution for the complex fraction. This will be cosine theta over sine theta na. Na nakamultiply sa 1. Doing the multiplication, cotangent theta will be equal to cosine theta over sine theta. At yun yung ating second quotient identity. Quotient siya dahil i-divide yung sine and cosine values depending upon kung nasaan yung kanilang posisyon, doon nakadepende yung sagot. Kung si sine theta ay nasa taas, si cosine ay nasa baba, tangent yung answer. Pero kung reciprocal nun, cosine yung nasa taas, sine yung nasa baba, cotangent ang answer. 
Ang next natin ay yung mga Pythagorean identities. It came from the concept of Pythagorean theorem, which is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Recall that r is always the hypotenuse for a unit circle. x and y are the legs. Ang gagawin natin dito ay i-divide natin lahat ng terms sa r squared. Meron tayong x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Divide daw natin lahat sa r squared. Yung right side magiging 1 na. Tapos, ang gagawin natin dito sa left side, ipa-factor out natin yung kanilang exponent na 2. Ang maiiwan sa loob ay x at r. Ganon din sa kabilang fraction, ipa-factor out natin yung squared. Next part natin, recall that x over r, this is cosine theta na naka-squared. And y over r is sine theta na naka-squared. Ipasok ulit natin yung squared, tapos unahin natin isulat yung sine. Magiging, dito muna ito, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Yan yung una nating Pythagorean identities. Again, it came from the concept of Pythagorean theorem pero naka-express using trigonometric function. Next, out of this first Pythagorean identity na sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1, i-divide natin yung bawat term sa sine squared theta. Again, we divide all the terms by sine squared theta. Sine squared theta over sine squared theta, this will just be 1. Tapos sa second fraction na to, ilabas ulit natin si squared. Tingnan natin kung meron tayong makukuha na trigonometric function dito. We have cosine theta over sine theta. And for this one, recall that 1 over sine squared theta, the 1 in the numerator can be written as 1 squared. Diba kasi 1 squared is still equal to 1. Pwede ulit nating ilabas yung squared. We have 1 over sine theta. Cosine over sine, this first fraction, we know that from the quotient identity, this is cotangent theta. And 1 over sine theta, recall that from reciprocal identities, this is cosecant theta. Ipasok lang ulit natin yung mga squared para maka-arrive tayo sa 1 plus cotangent squared theta equals cosecant squared theta. This is the second Pythagorean identity. Kung sa slide na to, sine squared theta ang pinang-divide natin, sa next Pythagorean identity, cosine squared naman yung ating ipang divide to arrive with the last Pythagorean identity. Again, we will start with sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta over 1. Tapos, cosine squared theta naman ang ating ipang divide The second fraction will already be equal to 1 kasi equal na yung numerator and denominator. Yung first fraction ating ilabas yung squared. Meron tayong sine theta over cosine theta. Next, tulad ng ginawa natin kanina, yung 1 can be written as 1 squared. Kaya naman, kapag kinuha natin or finactor out natin yung 2 na exponent, 1 pa rin yung numerator. And then, cosine theta na yung denominator. And then, remember that sine theta over cosine theta, that is equal to tangent theta. This is one of the quotient identities na pinresent natin kanina. And 1 over cosine theta is itong reciprocal identity na equals sa second theta. Simplifying the squared, or ipapasok ulit natin yung squared, we arrive with the last Pythagorean identity, tan squared theta, plus 1 equals second squared theta. 
Again, these are identities. Kahit anong angle ang ipalit mo sa theta, mag-i-equal palagi yung left and right hand side ng equation. To sum it up, we have the eight trigonometric identities. Yung reciprocal identities, meron tayong tatlo. Ire-reciprocal yung sine, makukuha yung cosecant or vice versa. Pag ni-reciprocal si secant, makukuha si cosine or vice versa. Pag ni-reciprocal si cotangent, makukuha si tangent or vice versa. Quotient identities, meron tayong dalawa. Sine over cosine, that's tangent. Cosine over sine, that is cotangent. And for Pythagorean identities, meron tayong sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1. 1 plus cotangent squared theta equals cosecant squared theta. And tangent squared theta plus 1 equals second squared theta. Again, these are identities. Kahit anong angle value, mag equal yung left and right hand side of the equation. Ginagamit ito sa pag-simplify ng iba't ibang trigonometric identities at pag-prove ng iba't ibang trigonometric identities. Thank you for watching! If you learned from this video, please give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon. See you on our next video!